Hello, it's Marco Matosh here for Marco M3D, and this is the final part of our squat exercise VR machine-ness. So we're just going to be tidying up some of the stuff and making kind of like a game over section, and here we go. So we've got our timer working, obviously now it goes into minus seconds. So what we'll do is make a... Um, actually, let's leave it like that. We'll come over here, and we will go get time when it's greater than so i just typed in equal sorry when it's less than or equal to zero let's make a branch so when it's true let's go set text just like we did text time uh, when it's true we will set a text nope string to text. Oh, ah, ah, good enough. Um, actually, what we can do is format text and we will put in game over. If I can spell right. Game over. Compile. Play. Four, three, two, one. Game over. Let's go as a last hurrah stop respawner let's do this so we're going to come back into our pickup interface add new function stop respawner so you kind of get still one more point if you know what I mean um, compile that let's go what are we going to do so if we go back to our scoreboard if it's true we're going to message stop respawner uh, message. And who are we going to message? We are going to message um, these boxes here, this blueprint here, which is called random spawner. Now, do we already have random spawner running in here? We do not. So let's now create another um, random spawner. And we will change this from integer to an actor. Bam, let's bring that in here and press the I, compile, um, come back into motion controller, um, select our time score, and we should have random spawner. Let's put in random spawner. If we come back into our random spawner, let's add in a little bit of smarts in here. Let's type in random spawner. Spawner. Turn off context sensitivity. No, it's not working. So, ah, it's because it's called stop. Stop spawner. Context sensitivity. Turn that on. There we go. Add event. And what we'll do is let's create a new variable and we'll call this um, game over. Set. And we'll set this to true. And then what we can do is put in a branch. Get. So now we have. It will spawn event. Is this true? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to change that to false. Is this game over true? No. Cool. So false. Let's spawn another one. Blah, 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 countdown, game over, the time is end, event spawner, um, once the clock runs down and our score time is below, equal to or less than zero, it's going to send a message to random spawner, random spawner is going to get the message, set game over to set to true, and then this will now be true, nothing happens. Okay, okay, okay. So... That's pretty much our game. However, let's now go to, let's just play it. Let's go scoreboard. Let's add in some extra time. Let's go 30 seconds. And let's press play.
game over. It doesn't spawn anymore. Oh, I hate this game. Cheese and whiskers. And so there we have it. I didn't even know what our score was. Ah, oh, dang it. That is a very basic exercise game on squats. <laughs>